Are we alone? It's a question that many hope to have answered, and some believe they already have the answer to. Some scientists maintain that we will find alien life in the next 30 years, if not sooner. There's nothing conclusive yet, but evidence is mounting that we are not alone, and that our universe may be teeming with life. Amazing! Number 10. Tiny life on meteorites. Earth has been hit by a number of meteorites over the past 4 billion years. Of the many tons of cosmic dust and meteorites that hit the Earth on a daily basis, three have been determined to have possibly come in contact with life. When a thin slice of meteorite, known as Nakla, was viewed under a microscope, fractures and tunnels that are similar to tunnels associated with DNA were discovered on it. Though no DNA was found, Tiny structures that closely resemble fossilized nanobacteria were. Nanobacteria are single-celled organisms much smaller than the accepted minimum size for a living organism. From the examinations, it is estimated that as much as three-fourths of organic material found on this meteorite may not even be from Earth. A second meteorite, this one known as Shergotti, actually has many features that bear a striking resemblance to the remnants of biofilm, the substance that allows microorganisms to stick to each other, as well as communities of tiny organisms called microbes. Number 9. The Wow Signal in 1977, Ohio State University picked up a strange signal from their Big Ear Telescope, an observatory that scanned the sky for alien radio signals. It had a fairly interesting way of measuring the strength of a radio signal. It utilized numbers and letters. A zero was meaningless noise, while a Z meant that the telescope had picked up a strong signal. On August 15th, astronomer Dr. Jerry R. Emmon was receiving the most recent data from the Big Ear. It all seemed perfectly routine until he reached the portion of what is now called the WOW signal. The telescope picked up a radio signal that measured as 6EQUJ5 from an area of empty space. Now that designation means nothing to you or I, but if it got the attention of an astronomer, they would want to know more. The signal was cited on the data sheet, and Emin wrote the simple phrase, WOW. The 37 seconds of signal originated near the Sagittarius constellation, the nearest star being over 220 light years away. Many theories have been discussed as to what caused the broadcast, but one thing that is certain is that it is interstellar in origin. Number 8. The Black Knight before we touch on the more irrefutable scientific signs, we'll take a deeper look at some signs like this that are viewed with some skepticism, but nonetheless are worth us explaining. The Black Knight is a mysterious, unidentified satellite that was detected way back in 1899 by the brilliant Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla who some think intercepted signals from the unknown satellite. The satellite is believed to be 13,000 years old, and numerous others have since claimed to have picked up similar signals before humans actually launched any satellites into space. Yet these aren't the only signs behind the existence of this object. When ground control picked up inexplicable signals during their pioneering Mercury mission that astronaut Gordon Cooper was part of, the evidence was made even more substantial when Mr. Cooper himself added that he saw green light belonging to the Black Knight at the same time when they picked up the signals. Even more recently, in 1998, during mission STS-88, crew of the Space Shuttle Orbiter Endeavour photographed this unusual object in low Earth orbit. These images are often labelled as the most definitive proof of this satellite, though more careful analysis identifies this object as space debris, or possibly just a thermal blanket. All of the evidence may seem rather unrelated, based on fringe ideas and unusual observations, but the aggregate body of evidence linked to the idea of this satellite just might have been extraterrestrial in origin. Number 7. NASA Cover-Ups 
If anybody in the world currently knows whether alien life exists, it would most likely be US government agencies such as NASA. They would have incentives to hide information from us, to prevent an upheaval of society, and conceal potential technologies. What's unnerving is that there are strange signs to suggest that NASA has been concealing information from the public. One of the most frequently cited relates to NASA's cutting of live feeds during broadcasts from the International Space Station. It's believed that as soon as a UFO comes into view, the cameras stop streaming in order to hide the evidence. Many believe it to be a blatantly obvious and deliberate cover-up of alien life, though it could just be a coincidence or an honest fault with the cameras. Other more disconcerting signs relate to actual NASA astronauts who have spoken about strange alien encounters. One of the most frequently mentioned is linked to Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who was part of the Apollo 14 space mission in 1971. During his two lunar missions, he spent 33 hours on the moon and explained how he was aware of several UFO visits during his career, but each one had been covered up. He's also made other statements about famous alien incidents, such as the Roswell crash of 1947. Given that he's not the only astronaut to expose such information, it would be unreasonable to dismiss his comments as uninformed speculation. Number six ancient evidence. This might seem like another long shot, but ask yourself this, if aliens have been visiting us, then why now? Surely they would have been around for hundreds or even thousands of years. Well, some suggest this to be true, citing peculiar ancient hieroglyphs as proof that even generations before us knew of their existence. Just look at this famous hieroglyph panel found in a stone slab supporting the ceiling of the ancient Egyptian temple of Seti at Abydos. It bears symbols resembling a helicopter, spaceship, and fighter jet planes. These hieroglyphic panels were made three to five thousand years ago, when man had no idea about these modern day vehicles. Whilst on the surface it seems astonishingly irrefutable proof of alien life, there are perhaps better examples, because studies have concluded that it is more likely the result of an accidental illusion resulting from overlapping hieroglyphics. Whilst there are other legitimately suspicious examples, the internet is generally flooded with hoaxes. Nonetheless, these aren't the only markings of aliens throughout time. Real old paintings have pointed to the existence of extraterrestrial life. Just check out this example from a medieval tapestry in France. The painting depicts the Virgin Mary in the foreground, whilst in the background there appears to be a man looking up in awe at an object that is strikingly similar to our modern day perception of a UFO. Do these confirm the presence of aliens over time, or do they simply affirm our interest in the subject of extraterrestrial life? It's something that at the moment you'll have to decide on for yourself. Number 5. Strange Radio Bursts Adding on to the evidence related to the WOW signal, this one relates to a more substantial body of proof. Since 2001, telescopes around the world have been picking up so-called fast radio bursts that last just a few milliseconds and erupt with about as much energy as the sun releases in a month. 10 have been detected so far and were determined to have originated 5.5 billion light years away. The brevity of the bursts means that their source has to be small, hundreds of kilometers across at the most, so they can't be from ordinary stars. On top of that, data analysts believe that there is only a 5 in 10,000 chance of them being a coincidence as they seem to follow a mathematical pattern whereby the delay between the first and last wavelength is a multiple of 187.5. This suggests that they may be communication attempts from extraterrestrial civilizations. Perhaps it's just the case that they're flagging us down with basic multiplication. Number 4. Life on Mars For more than a century, people have speculated about whether there is life on the red planet that is Mars. 
Thanks to NASA's Curiosity rover that landed on the planet in 2012, it's likely that soon we may know whether life was or is present on the planet. So far, it has reported surprising spikes in methane gas, which is a suspicious sign that alien life exists, since on Earth most methane is produced as a waste gas by living organisms. However, the presence of methane gas may also be geological, but methane delivered in this method should linger in the atmosphere for hundreds of years, yet Curiosity found that the gas had vanished within just a few weeks. Number 3. Life can exist anywhere, even in deep space. Extremophiles are creatures that exist in conditions that would kill most other kinds of life. NASA recreated the conditions of deep space at their Ames Research Center to determine if life could exist in the cold, radiated depths outside our atmosphere. The researchers then exposed two of the most abundant elements in the universe, carbon and nitrogen, to the same radiation and vacuum that would be found in deep space. The result created key components of DNA and RNA, the building blocks of life. In addition, the Rosetta Orbiter has confirmed that the ingredients for life are indeed found elsewhere. This means that the same chemicals and molecules that are allowed to form life on Earth are present everywhere. We know that there are exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system, everywhere in the galaxy. And now we know that these exoplanets have been exposed to the exact same compounds that appeared on Earth billions of years ago and eventually became us. Since the building blocks of life can form anywhere, life beyond our own rock is possible and likely. Number 2. There are thousands of exoplanets. In 2009, NASA launched the Kepler Satellite Observatory to look out into the farthest reaches of space. As Kepler scans the void, it has discovered and is still discovering a staggering amount of exoplanets that may be habitable. In other words, our galaxy alone is full of planets within the important habitable zone, where life is likely to thrive. Now it appears that most stars have at least one planet, and a recent study has determined that at least 22% of sun-like stars are orbited by Earth-like planets that are not too close or far away from their parent star. When we extrapolate this out to the 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, then we have 22 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. That means there could potentially be trillions of Earth-like planets in the universe. Just think about all the diversity of alien life that could exist. Number 1. Life could be in our own backyard. For example, as we know it, to survive we need liquid, water and heat. And whilst we're searching far and wide for exoplanets that may be habitable, the prospect for finding liquid water within our solar system outside of Earth may not be as unlikely as we first thought. Apparently, there are entire oceans of liquid water beneath the crust of ice on Jupiter's moons Europa, Ganymede, and Saturn's moon Enceladus. In fact, our solar system is soaked in water, as is much of the greater galaxy, so much so that astronomers of NASA's astrophysics division describe the Milky Way as a soggy place. Even with water everywhere, Europa is still the most likely site for alien life. This moon contains more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. Better yet, the gravitational forces of Jupiter assist in keeping the water of Europa liquid, and this massive ball of liquid is shielded from harmful radiation by its hard icy shell. If we add in clay-like materials known as phyllosilicates that are usually associated with organic materials, we can see why many scientists at NASA think it might be time to go fishing for life on Europa. In light of the evidence, it seems like more of a question of when rather than if we will find alien life. So what do you think? How long do you think it will be until we find alien life? Or alternatively, do you refute the evidence? Thanks for watching and subscribe to Be Amazed.